Darman, the cosmetics entrepreneur turned YouTube famous lifestyle guru and vlogger, has climbed his way to the top quickly and secured some luxurious real estate in the process. This even includes his new Calabasas mansion he purchased in November 2020, which also has some celebrity history. In fact, Darman snagged none other than one of the Kardashians' longtime mansions for a whopping $15.5 million. Can you guess who's? This sale was record price that ranks by more than a million dollars as the most ever paid for a house in the city of Calabasas. Today, we're gonna check out where Darman calls home. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Darman has had quite the lucrative career as a social media star, garnering a net worth of $30 million and it seems like it almost happened in the blink of an eye. Dar got his first shot of fame when he founded a company, WeGrow, a medical marijuana franchise in 2010. It was involved in selling products and services to help patients use medicinal marijuana properly. Darman started his YouTube channel on May 9th, 2018 and uploaded his first video titled Before You Give Up, Watch This. Since then, he has been uploading various motivational and inspirational videos based on various relatable life situations and vlogs. Today, Dar has garnered over 6.2 million subscribers. Other than YouTube, he has lots of fan followings on his various social media platforms, including more than 3.6 million over on his Instagram. Besides YouTube, he has two businesses. He is currently the CEO of Live Glam, a beauty company with more than 1.7 million followers on Instagram, founded in 2015, and Darman Studio which has more than 862k followers as well. And in case anyone has been living under a rock, social media personalities are the 21st century's A-list celebrities whose dedicated global fan bases allow them to fill their bank accounts with piles of money. And they often use this money for multi-million dollar real estate. So it should come as no surprise that Darman and his fiance snagged a $15.5 million Calabasas mansion. Hey guys, it's Karen. Today we're bringing you another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell, we post a new video daily. We're gonna check out the one and only Darman, where he calls home these days with his family, aka his new top the line mansion in Calabasas. As you know, here we talk about celebrity houses, but have you ever wondered about YouTubers like Steve Will Do It's extravagant car purchases, or about Summer Ray's new Benz? We recently started a new channel, Famous Fashion, where myself and some other hosts are reporting on all things celebrity purchases and fashion. We'll link you one of our videos, join us, and be sure to subscribe. Most recently, Recently, in what seems to be a Valentine's Day weekend gift to herself, Summer has yet another big car to add to her driveway. While it may seem more practical, her new designer SUV was far from cheap. As always, don't forget to follow me on Instagram to chat and now let's get into this video. Just last year, Darwin and his fiance Laura G, a well-known beauty influencer and businesswoman in her own right, were house hunting for the perfect spa. And let me tell you, they looked at some lavish LA mansions only for the rich and famous. The couple recently welcomed their first child into the world, so I'm sure they needed to love the place. And for an eight-figure price tag, they must have loved their mansion. Darman's added to his real estate portfolio in a huge way by getting his hands on this massive Calabasas mansion for a whopping $15.5 million. This spectacular estate, built in 2005, features a 9,320 square foot home, which boasts six bedrooms and 10 bathrooms. And as for the Kardashian who formerly owned it, fun fact, the seller was none other than Khloe Kardashian, and her $15.5 million payday was a record price. Not like she needs it or anything. Anyways, that insane price tag ranked by more than a million dollars is the most ever paid for a house in the city of Calabasas. Considering this is more than double the $7.2 million she had purchased the home for six years ago off of Justin Bieber, we'll call this a win for Chloe. In addition, the home was previously owned by Eddie Murphy, so it appears whoever snags this pad is bound for greatness. Talk about A-list pedigreed home. For the last several months, Mann and his partner Laura G had been documenting their house hunt on social media, and since they welcomed their daughter earlier this year, it was a match made in heaven. Built in 2005, the Tuscan Villa style compound is located in the estates at the Oaks and features a double gated community where other homeowners include the likes of Kourtney Kardashian, Travis Barker, and Morphe Cosmetics tycoons Chris and Linda Tawil. That could be a pretty high profile dinner party if you ask me. This spectacular estate is set on a high ridge with remarkable long views of the surrounding hills, which will be a theme in this house tour. In addition, the 1.3 acre 
property boasts lush landscaping that contradicts its dry valley location. We're talking rolling green lawns, perfectly set clumps of tropical plants, and large bunches of brightly colored roses. Previous to man's purchase, Khloe Kardashian had recruited top designer Tommy Clements and Waldo Fernandez, who were the same men that redid Kris Jenner's recently sold main residence. Their goal was to transform the formerly bland interiors into a sophisticated modern showcase with the jet black hardwood floors, cream colored walls, and a full array of name brand furniture. In addition, the 9,300 square foot house now features a sexy backlit bar, a delicately curved staircase in the foyer, and a dining room with garden views. Keep it coming. The interior of the home features not one but six fireplaces throughout and boasts vaulted ceilings, crown moldings, and hand painted tiles. In addition, the lavish house features floor to ceiling windows, which allow for a ton of natural light, arched walkways decked out with custom fixtures, chic paintings, and elegant chandeliers. There are also distressed hardwoods and terracotta floors throughout. And hey, for those who are too lazy to take the elegant spiraling staircase, you can get to the higher levels using the elevator. It looks like Chloe set Dara up pretty good. The home features a gourmet kitchen with granite countertops, sub-zero appliances, and an island perfectly centered in the room. In addition, the kitchen comes complete with a breakfast nook and bar, and a butler's pantry with more room than you know what to do with. A graceful sitting area features a cozy fireplace, custom cabinets, another elegant chandelier, and oversized windows with large glass sliding doors that give access to the terrace and pool area. Other common areas include a cream-toned living room with an entire wall of steel framed floor to ceiling glass doors. And this room has more upscale furniture, custom fixtures, a fireplace, and a large flat screen TV. Dar also lucked out with a family room with minimalist built in shelves, a bar, cozy furnishings, and rolling views of the backyard garden and mountains. In addition, there's a spacious office with custom built-ins and oversized windows, perfect for lots of natural light, and I'm sure perfect for Dar to do his work. I'm gonna bet that Dar signed a few big sponsorship deals in there. And for some additional goodies, there's a state-of-the-art theater with luxe couches, a games room with billiards table, and a deluxe bar, perfect for entertaining. With access to the backyard from almost every room, this setup is probably one of the most glamorous houses we've seen. But I wouldn't put it past the property passed on from Khloe Kardashian. Kardashian. The woman has stellar taste. In addition, Kardashian opted to transform two of the guest bedrooms into one very large walk-in closet. Having a walk-in closet the size of two guest bedrooms, I'm gonna guess Laura loves that feature. Furthermore, Chloe formerly had her own dressing room decked out with a sparkly chandelier, pot lights bordering the enormous mirror, flowers, and upscale knickknacks. There's even a spacious guest house that's a mini replica of the main house, so it basically has its own mini me. And as luxurious as the interior of the home is, the backyard is just as impressive. The grounds surrounding the main house itself are meant for lounging and entertaining. In addition to that mini guest house, there's a lavish pool and spa decked out with top of the line patio furniture surrounding it. Out back, there's also an outdoor bar, barbecue area, kitchen, and entertainment area. If this doesn't do it for you, how about the outdoor area with a thatched roof, multiple courtyards, and outdoor fireplaces, as well as other patios for all fresco dining. All of this is surrounded with manicured grounds, a picturesque view of the California mountains, and numerous Moroccan style fountains scattered throughout the property. All right, so I think I'm gonna bring this house tour to an end right there. We got to take a quick look at Darman's house in Calabasas and that killer mansion he grabbed off of Khloe Kardashian for his growing family. After seeing that fancy mega mansion he's living in, what did you guys think? Was it everything you would expect out of Darman? Personally, I love that backyard with the picture perfect pool and the interior features like the sexy backlit bar. Out of the highlights of Darman's home, which were your favorite? You can even go ahead and rate them in the comments down below. I'd also love it if you guys subscribe to my personal channel. You can drop a comment, we'll link you one of my latest videos. Oh, this is a childhood gem. Oh my gosh. <gasps> I forgot about these pictures. Not looking at that. There's a creepy X there. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and I will see you all next time. Bye.